Hi everyone, it's Paola. Welcome back to my channel, my art graphic design channel. As you guys know, please subscribe if you're not subscribed. I've gotten a lot of new subscribers, so hello to you. And also today's video is a good one because I'm going to be showing you kind of step-by-step -step custom lettering how I personally do it and maybe this will help you or maybe this would just be a fun kind of work by me, you know, work along with me type of video. So yeah, I'm gonna show you how I do my lettering. Before we get started, I have exciting news. First exciting news, I got engaged. Yeah. Okay, yeah, so I'm engaged. You probably saw it on my Instagram. If you didn't, follow me on Instagram. Great segue. But yeah, I'm engaged. I'm really happy. Life is crazy. Little life update. Yeah, okay, we'll move on. <laughs> okay. Okay, sorry. Honestly, I have no idea what to say about it. But yeah, follow me on Instagram where I post more about my life. And <laughs> uh, please subscribe if you're not subscribed. Also, check out my Patreon. Check out below how you can donate to my channel to help the running of this channel. Okay, let's get into the video. <laughs> okay, so like I said, custom lettering. This is going to be how I do it personally. I mean, I'm going to show you what I do with Illustrator, the pen tool, bringing things into Illustrator. Uh, so yeah, hopefully this can be helpful for you if you want to know kind of the step-by-step -step, and also if you want to know more about the pen tool and creating custom lettering. Hopefully this will help. I do have a video on custom lettering, like actually building letters. This is not really going to be that, but definitely check that video out. That will be linked below. Also, I finally have my new laptop to work with, so I'm excited to get going. So to do this type of project, what you're going to need is either a photo to work with or one of your own drawings. As you guys know, I have my type journal. You've probably seen it in videos. So I have a lot of different letters and stuff that I could bring in to Illustrator. Um, but then we're also going to talk about like bringing in any type of image. So it could be a sketch. It can be a digital image. Don't copy anything like 100%. That's like already out there, like someone's typeface or whatever. But if you want to learn just how to do this and use this for practice, I'm going to show you bringing in an image from online. So it could be the same as bringing in like a scanned image of a drawing. So bringing in an image in general into Illustrator, tracing it with the pen tool and starting to build your letters from there. So I'm going to find an inspiration photo from Pinterest. And like I said, don't just copy a letter and then use that as your own. This is definitely for practice. But like I said, bring in your own drawings or bring in something that inspires you and then you can even change it from there. That's definitely not copying. Like you can definitely use inspiration and photos like this, but don't just use it exactly the same and then say it's yours. You know what I mean? Okay, so I found some great inspiration and I'm going to just bring it into Illustrator on a 1080 by 1080 pixel artboard because that's what I usually work in just to get started. And we're going to see how we can trace and how we can tweak letters from there. So all you have to do is drag in a photo and basically from there is where you can start tracing to kind of copy but this is again like i said practice so you're just tracing over to start making these shapes and seeing if you can do it and then from there you can always change letters to more of your style or you know just see what you can do with the pen tool once you've created a letter so clicking into the pen tool what i like to do is do an opposing color for the actual stroke of the pen tool because then you can really see it and see what you're working in. I always end up doing like a pink or a red or something, but make sure that you have your stroke on and your fill off. So no color in the fill, it's gonna get confusing if you do that. So let's go into this Y and just see what we can do and see if we can make this letter happen. As you can see, it might have little rounded corners, but you can always change that later. So right now, if you don't wanna like build it with rounded corners, you can build it just with sharp edges and it can actually be pretty easy. So I always start with the corner of a letter and actually if you hold down shift, it will create a straight horizontal or vertical line. So shift and then click to the next point and you have a perfectly straight even line. And you can always click undo. I always do command Z every time I get something slightly off and then just keep going from there. So like I said, it will be straight if you do shift, but if you hold down just like regular, you can do whatever angle you want. So as you can see here, there's a curve. So this is where I start experimenting with how to build the curve. Do I want it to just go straight down and then curve? Do I want it to start curving immediately and have kind of a curvy line in general? This is up to you. And if you want to trace the letter perfectly, I mean, it's all about trial and error with the pen tool. So I'm going to click about here and then I'm going to get building. 
So I'm holding down shift to go across, and then as you can see, it's perfectly straight. Shift to go up, perfectly straight. Shift to go across, perfectly straight. So these curves can get tricky, but honestly, sometimes I just do it in kind of a rough way. And then once I've completed the shape, I'll pull it away and look at what I have. So as you can see, when we zoom in, there are some curves that are like a little wonky, but we can go in and fix that. So let's zoom in on this letter. Like I said, a little bit wonky, a little bit of wonkiness, <laughs> but we can change it. So if you hit A, it'll go into direct select, which is just the arrow that's next to the regular selection tool. And this is where you can start really changing your shapes. So you can change these directions, you can change these angles, you can change a lot of stuff. So as you can see here, I just made that a better curve just by pulling that. And honestly, I like the shape of the curve there. So I'm going to leave it. And you can always utilize guides to see how straight your lines are. And if there's something off, just fix it. As you can see, that tool is just the best, pulling it to make these curves just a little smoother, a little bit better. And if you really don't like something, you can always delete an anchor point to anchor point and just rebuild the shape. So overall, we've made the shape of the Y here, and then we can just see how it looks by filling it in. I like to fill it in actually black first because working in black and white first really helps you understand how the thing is actually looking um, before you start adding color and kind of distracting from what it can be and what it is. So I like to do that first and just like see how it's looking. And as you can see, we basically built that same shape, but here is where you can start changing things, making it your own, or you know, if you wanted to just practice and see if you could do those exact shapes, that's a great way to practice custom lettering. So yeah, that's like my main pen tool thing, but let's do another one from another inspiration, maybe a, a little more difficult and less uh, geometric and yeah just show you how we can create these letter forms okay so without giving too much away the other example I want to show you is what I made with a recent client of mine so I can't show you like everything that we worked on together because she hasn't made her business yet I mean I don't want to like spoil or alert any of the stuff that we've created together so I'm just gonna show you what I worked on from an inspiration picture and how I changed it to be my own in terms of one letter to start building off custom lettering for the logo. This was the inspiration photo that I found online that I have just been loving, like I've been looking at it and I couldn't find the typeface for it. So what I did was I kind of took in my own inspiration from it and created something custom. So basically the letter I loved the most was the G and I just wanted to work with that G in some capacity. And I knew it was a working typeface somewhere, I just couldn't find it. So. Uh, I actually started working with this G by tracing it, tracing it exactly how it was, and then tweaking it from there for my custom logo. So I'm going to show you kind of that process. Okay, so as you can see here, we have this G, and then what I did was I used the pen tool and I created this exact G. So I created the exact shape with the pen tool with all these curves, and I started tweaking it like you saw how to tweak exactly like the letters. So once I put it into black, it really did look exactly like the letter. And as you can see over here, I started practicing with the other letters. So, you know, they had an E in here. I was tracing the E to see if I could do it. There was no E in the logo I was making. But like I said, here is just creating these shapes. And sometimes it's just working in two shapes and actually building. So like, as you can see here, that was the pen tool, just that outside shape and then a separate tool inside shape. And then I built the letter from there. Fill both of these shapes and then highlight them and then minus the front and it will create a, a hole basically for that E. But overall, making this letter helped me develop my custom lettering for my logo that was completely different from the original inspiration photo. So there's not really like a copy of any of these letters in there. I just created these sort of shapes and especially that little like swirl i definitely added that into the logo so hopefully when i get to share that like we can talk more about it but like i said 
I just used this as the starting off point, used the pen tool to start tracing, start building a letter, and then that helped inform how to build the rest of my letters with the pen tool. So let me share with you just quickly how I traced it because it's a little more complex than the other letter that I showed as an example. So I'm just gonna show you like a quick little way to do it. So like I said, I always do stroke. Let's just do an opposing color than black. And we're gonna actually just leave that part out and get creating. So what I did with this curve was I started halfway down and I just kind of hit the shift tool so that it would go like the perfect curve. And as you can see, this hanging off part, like where I'm gonna go click next, is the perfect shape already. So it figured it out for me based off of where I put my original curve. And then from there, I just started going down the curves and of course, trial and error, like I said, it can get a little complicated, but it's all about just following along with the natural curvature of the shape of the pen tool and hopefully you get what you want. So it's a lot of tweaking, it's a lot of pulling, changing, and this did take me a very long time. I'm telling you like this actual logo G that I did <laughs> took me a while and it took me a lot of trial and error. So let's say that this shape is perfect, which we know it's not, but it would take some time. But let's say that shape is perfect and say you wanted to add that bowl of the G. So a bowl, counter, whatever. <laughs> so you'll want to trace it as so. So now we just have that shape and then see it goes in there so it fits. So let me show you creating that shape. So first we're gonna fill this then we're gonna fill this so let's just flip it um and then we can change it to a different color just so you can see the difference so you can see that there is the circle inside the g so let's move that out of the way and here we just have to highlight both of them and then we can click minus front so now it's actually a hole it's not there anymore it's a hole it's in the g and we've created that g shape so that's a little more advanced than the geometric y we worked with but either way both really good inspiration really good way to get started and a great way to build off letters especially if you drew those letters yourself scanned them in you know you're using your own custom type that you like to draw and illustrate it's up to you okay i hope you liked this video and i hope it helped you especially in learning illustrator i've kind of been doing like mini illustrator tutorials lately kind of step by step so hopefully you're liking them let me know if you want more i felt like this was a little more in-depth than i usually go especially with actually creating things and how we created things like what we're actually doing so let me know if it helped you and what else you want to see if you want to see more we could maybe create our own type and you can work along with me and then we can you know put it in here and go step by step with all the letters so yeah let me know what you want to see and subscribe if you're not also ring the bell to get notified when i upload um thank you so much for letting me take a break because i literally got engaged life is great um <laughs> okay uh, I will see you in my next one. Give it a like if you like this video. It helps me a lot. Okay, bye! <laughs>